What's up guys, it's Adam for Adam's Trail Notes, and today we are at Lake Henshaw in California, ready to photograph the Perside Meteor Shower. Now this meteor shower happens every August, and it's really cool. It puts on a display of about 40 to 50 meteors per hour, and on this night this year, it's going to be about three hours where we're not going to have a moon, so it's going to be a lot of clear, dark sky for us with a lot of meteors, so it's going to be fun to shoot. Let's get to it. Okay, so... For meteor showers, we're going to do an aperture of f2.8. We want a very wide aperture uh, so we can get all the light possible. And then for shutter speed, since I'm going to be doing a time lapse, since I don't want to try and take a picture every time I almost see a meteor, you're just going to set a time lapse so your camera just goes and goes and goes, and then you're going to capture a lot of meteors that way. So shutter speed is going to be set to 30 seconds, and then we're just going to have that go on a time lapse. ISO is going to be around 3200 to 6400. This just depends on how much ISO your or noise your camera can handle and also just how dark it is in your area. But these are base settings to go with. Once you have your settings set up, you're going to focus your camera. So basically just zoom in on the uh, LCD screen to a bright star. So there's a bright star right there. And basically you just maneuver your focus lens ever so slightly. So that's out of focus. You want it as a very small little dot. And usually that's around uh, infinity focus, so about right there. And zoom out, and then just take a couple test shots, and then you're going to set your time lapse up. And also, I'm um, using a wide-angle lens. That means I can capture a lot of the sky, so more meteors. Okay, guys, so I'm going to walk you through PhotoPills app and show you exactly how you can uh, plan your meteor shots. So basically, we just open PhotoPills. We're going to go to the Meteor Shower tab right here, and we're going to click the Per Side Meteor Shower. That's the one we're trying to view tonight. And click AR right here. And basically, we're going to click now. So right now it is 8.55 p.m., August 11th, 2020. And we're just going to go up. And you see the Perside Meteor Shower right here. And basically, that is the radiant. It's where most of the meteors will be showing. You can drag this to show the time go on. And you can see that the radiant is going to move throughout the sky. So you can basically plan like, oh, if I want to shoot till 3 a.m., I still want that field of view to be visible now so I don't have to change my camera. So the time lapse can just go and just stay in one shot. So right now it'll probably get up to that height. So that's still not that high. So I can probably get all of that in one view. So that's what we're going to do. And PhotoPills is an awesome app to show you how to do this. So thank you, PhotoPills. For camera equipment, the first part is to have a very sturdy tripod. Now this is because you'll be taking long exposures and a time lapse, which means you want your camera to stay steady. You don't want it moving around. You don't want the wind knocking it over. So sturdy tripod is first thing on your list. Next up, you're gonna have to have a camera with manual mode because you want to control all of your settings because it's dark out, as you can see. And you're going to want to have a wide angle lens with a low aperture. Now this low aperture is going to allow you to collect as much light as possible, which is good because it is dark out. You want your camera to see something. And a wide angle lens is going to allow you to capture as much of the sky as possible, which is good because that increases your chances of photographing a meteor or having a meteor in the frame. Uh, next up, you're probably going to want a flashlight or a headlamp so you can see something so you don't trip over your camera in the middle of the night. That would not be fun. Um, and also so you can see like little critters crawling around. You don't want to get bit or whatever they do to you at night you don't want that to happen so you know always be aware of your surroundings especially at night if it's a location you've never been to before and uh, last but not least you want an intervalometer because for meteor showers instead of just saying oh I think the meteor is going to happen right now and try and take a picture your chances of capturing a meteor are going to go down a lot so it's easier if you just set a time lapse and have a short interval so that means you're going to take a picture it's going to wait like one second and then take another picture and that just goes on for the whole night. And through that, you really, the first part is you can just kind of relax and look at the stars and watch the meteor shower and you don't have to worry about the camera because it's just going on auto mode. And uh, second of all, it's going to be capturing all the meteors so you won't have to worry about, oh, it missed that one shot because it's going to be going for hours and hours and hours. Um, so that's why we have an intervalometer set up with an interval of one second and then I just set the number of photos to infinity so I don't have to worry about that. And that's about it for photographing a meteor shower. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's an awesome way to photograph. And then I'll probably do another tutorial on blending all these meteors together in Photoshop because that's a whole other step to the process is the editing portion. Uh, but photographing meteors is awesome. Stargazing and looking at meteors is awesome. Bring some friends along like Jude. Thanks, Jude, for coming. Uh, yeah, so go to a dark sky and photograph a meteor shower.
there a problem, Jude? Is there... Okay. <laughs> oh. What's up, guys? It's Adam Friend. I'm chilling out. You're gonna do a clap or something? I can't clap with the phone, Jude, and the car is almost running you. Are you ready? I really wish I had two hands. You too. No, I mean. Are you recording? No, because then I can zoom in and stuff no, and like focus. Okay. All right. Oh, come on, dude. My camera editing made your vlog. Okay. It made Perfect. the vlog. 